CLR from Victoria, Mr. Whistle from Queensland. As the judges discuss, I have another question for you guys. One thing that I picked up uh, from, from both of you and, and the crowd with the bass claw is the idea of bass and, and the question being, how do you develop the power of that bass tone in your beatboxing? How do you develop that? What kind of practice kind of... Mate, you need a lot of hogs and honey, let me tell you. Hogs and honey, I've heard the hogs term. What is that? Can you share that? Hogs is a beautiful bourbon, and if you're thirsty tonight, you can go to the bar and probably find a beautiful hogs bourbon there waiting for you. Nice, nice. Esh? A fi Esh? A, a fireball? A fireball? They're good to... I haven't drank in a while. I'm still catching up. My friend, how do you develop your bass? Um, you just break your nose, because my nose is, like, just, like, fucked. So, it sort of helps, like, I don't know, if you want, like, a lot of people ask me how to do my bass, and, like, the thing I would say is, a lot of people try to, um, just be like everyone else, so, if you could make yourself, like, when someone hears your beat, if they know that's your beat, then you're, you've made your bass successful. So, like, a trademark bass that you've created? Exactly, yeah. I always thought that the bass was from the throat, does it also happen in the nose? Yeah, I mean, mine is, like, up here, it's really, like, <laughs> Powerful. Yeah, so it's, it's real weird. Thanks for that, brother. We're going to find out our winner. Judges, is it going to be Whistle? Is it going to be CLR? Three, two, one.